Senate leaders are back to the brink, publicly pointing fingers about who's to blame for the looming fiscal cliff. But behind the scenes, both parties are trying to figure out a way to keep over a trillion dollars in spending cuts from kicking in. With me now, Wyoming Republican Senator John Barrasso, chairman of the Senate Republican Policy Committee. Senator Barrasso, good morning, sir. How are you? Good, Luke. Thanks. Thanks so much for being on here. Before we get into the business of Capitol Hill, I got to ask you in the GOP leadership, Mr. McConnell was asked this question yesterday about Mitt Romney's tax returns. This was his response. I wish the uh, president would let us uh, know what he knew about Fast and Furious. Uh, he's in office. That's directly related to his uh, re-election, his performance. Uh, those are the kinds of um, disclosure issues, if you will, that I think the American people are really interested in. Um, the campaign can speak for itself on its uh, strategy. I got to ask you now on the heels of the National Review saying Mitt Romney should release his tax returns as well as Rick Perry. Should he do more so we can move on to bigger issues that the country cares about? Well, the campaign will speak for itself. I will tell you, people at home uh, all across Wyoming are just saying they're focused on jobs and the economy. That's what they want the candidates to be talking about. That's what I think America needs to hear more about. When we have 8.2 percent unemployment, 40 months in a row of unemployment, over 8 percent, an incredible national debt, major problems. That's what people are concerned about, their own jobs and the economy. Let's talk about this fiscal cliff. Obviously, there's a lot of partisan gridlock on Capitol Hill. Front page story in the Washington Post said this in regards to how Congress could prevent that outcome. They said, quote, Congress could prevent that outcome, but lawmakers are pledging to do so only on their terms, creating fears of more partisan gridlock. Democrats insist that tax, taxes rise for higher income earners. Republicans want to include the affluent in any renewal of the George W. Bush era tax cuts. People out there in the country, as you mentioned, are trying to get a job. They see the immense challenges this nation faces. Why is Congress once again going to the bitter end on partisan issues at the expense of the American people? Well, I'm ready to work to get people back to work. Uh, the, uh, uh, when uh, Bernanke was at, on Capitol Hill yesterday, he said Congress should act quickly to pull the United States back from the, uh, the, from the looking into the abyss. Uh, with his fiscal cliff, but yet the person that threw down the gauntlet was a leader of the Democrat Party, Patty Murray, who said, I would rather go over the cliff. And that's what she said. She would rather go over the cliff uh, in terms of what's happening with, with taxes. I think we should not raise taxes on anyone. The president agreed two years ago that we shouldn't raise taxes on anyone in economic times like these, but the economy, Luke, is worse now than it was two years ago. So if it was a bad idea then, it is a worse idea now. I want to uh, keep the tax rates as they are uh, for at least a year when we can do overall tax reform. And during that time, you can find ways to help improve the economy, get more people back to work. And if more people are working, then more tax revenue will come in. But the president has to you know, uh, stop trying to confuse the issue by, by equating uh, tax increases with spending cuts. Our problem isn't that we're taxed too little, it's that we as a nation spend too much. Patty Murray's plan, in, in my, but, Senator, in my we opinion, paid the lowest was percentage reckless. Of it was but we pay the lowest percentage of federal taxes since Dwight Eisenhower. The question is, is that are you willing, you've heard Leon Panetta say that these types of cuts would decimate DOD. You've heard a ton of industry trade groups that say if the sequestration goes through, jobs would be lost, especially in important swing states. Is all that worth not uh, raising taxes on the richest 1%? You know that that's not going to balance the budget. That's not where we need to do this. We need to re generate overall tax revenue, but to increase taxes on the very people that are creating jobs in this country is a mistake. Uh, to, to, for the president to say he's for jobs, but against the people that actually create the jobs and hire and put people back to work is, is not a good idea to help our economy. I want to make it easier and cheaper for the private sector to create jobs, and the president seems to continue to want to find ways to make it harder and, and more expensive for the private sector to create jobs. You know, after all, he said the private sector, you know, is doing just fine. Well, it is, it is not. Uh, based on the, the, the regulations, the taxes, the, the increased cost of health care law. Those are all reasons that people are not hiring and why unemployment mm -hmm. continues to be over 8% for now over 40 months.
Wyoming Senator John Brasso, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Take care. Thank you, Luke.